What's going on guys? Parabola here, coming at you with another 5 Minute Farms, special edition of 5 Minute Farms today. We're going to call this one Seals and Gills. This is a extremely low level farm. You can start doing this right at level 1. Figured I'd show you guys uh, one of the things I like to do with my low level jobs as I level them up. It also gives you a good chance to farm up some beastmen seals and gain a little bit of reputation for uh, at least Sanadoria in this episode of uh, Seals and Gill. So right off the bat what you're going to want to do is grab your level 1 job or any job really under level 10 works. Uh, I've seen people do this usually around level 6 or level 7 as well it works just as uh works just as good and then for this one you're gonna want to be on the sanadoria side and you're gonna take one of the exits down in southern sanadoria right there you can see the uh, southern sanadoria exit from sandy right up here and you're gonna want to stay in this area right here for east ronfar that way we can quickly zone in to uh, West Ronfar as soon as we get a Beastman seal. So the basic thing you're going to want to do is just kill every single enemy in this area. Only the level 1 enemies. The level 1 enemies are still going to give you seals, crystals, and experience points so you can get your low level jobs to uh, level 10 and move on to a little bit harder content. Boom, we got a seal right there. So what you do want to do when you get a seal in this area Let's just take this quick exit over here over to West Ronfar and we're going to zone right into West Ronfar and start killing the enemies once again to get another Beastman seal. And when we get this other Beastman seal, we're going to zone back to East Ronfar and we're going to rinse and repeat. It doesn't sound like the most exciting thing, but um, I have found that from level 1 through 10, you're going to obtain anywhere from 50 to 65 beastmen seals and that's huge you can pretty much do a bcnm burning circle notorious monster event with a bcnm 60 or with 60 seals and get yourself a good bit of money boom another seal right there some of them come quicker than others and then you just zone back we rinse and repeat this farm is also good though because you get a whole bunch more than just seals um usually level one through level 10 I'll end up getting four to five stacks of rabbit hides. You can sell the rabbit hides in stacks for about three to four hundred gil. Or alternatively, there's a guy in southern Sanadoria by the Tanners uh, area that you can trade the rabbit hides to three at a piece. And he also gives you 200 gil plus a little bit of fame, which I recommend doing that over just selling them. The next other thing you can uh, get here are earth crystals. I'm averaging anywhere from 8 to 10 stacks of earth crystals from level 1 to level 10 doing this method. Pretty good farm right there, you get yourself some good money uh, selling all those earth crystals, especially if you're hard up on money during the beginning. As you can see, this is uh, a lot of people like to do this, so when you come here you're going to be faced with quite a few people trying to do this little farm. It's not um, a big secret, but some people just don't know, and some people maybe they do it in other zones. Moving on, though, another thing that you're gonna get out here fighting these worms are a bunch of flint stones as well. I'm usually averaging anywhere from one to three stacks of flint stones. You can NPC these, you can sell these on the auction house. The same with the rabbit hides, earth crystals, and every now and then you will get lucky, and uh, the rabbits will drop hair meat. Hair meat's actually one of the better things that you can sell at these lower levels and get yourself some money. The hair meat sells for about 6 to 7k per stack. A little bit more than the other things, it's a little bit rarer to find in this area, but you gotta remember that we're just trying to level our characters from level 1 to level 10, and then get as many beastmen seals as possible while doing that and taking advantage of uh, this quick leveling process and make a little bit of money in the meantime. This usually takes me about an hour or an hour and a half to complete. It's a uh, very job dependent on which one you do it with. I'm doing this on Black Mage right now, so it's going to take me a little bit longer. 
I usually do not also recommend fighting the bats. The bats will be about level three and they're gonna give you more experience points, which in this case, you don't want more experience points. You want the experience points from the level one because you can get experience points from these level one mobs all the way to level 10. But um, that's pretty much it. You know, you kill a couple mobs here. You kill every single mob from the worms to the rabbits. Collect the beastmen seal zone, rinse and repeat all the way to level 10. And by the end of that, you should have anywhere from 50 to 65 beastmen seals, four to five stacks of rabbit hides, eight to 10 stacks of earth crystals, one to three stacks of flint stones, and anywhere from six to 12 pieces of hair meat. The good form. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm Parabola. You can catch me live every day over at twitch.tv slash parabola underscore TV. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make that money and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.